Right, doing a follow-up video for the old Pi 4 again. So apparently you can, um, they've unlocked the limiter on the overclock. So now, I've been able to get the overclock all the way up to 2000. Before it was only on like 1750 or 1800. And for, for Saturn, not a massive improvement. But, for um, Mendefen software, Wait a minute, I've just got to... Clean! <laughs> you can kind of see it, can you? Clean! Because of the in part. <laughs> Dusty, isn't it? Oh well. It's clean now. See, it says... But uh, yeah, remember this. This is Mendefen, by the way. This is like the really high accuracy PlayStation emulator. This is in software mode. But there is an improvement. There is definitely improvement. Uh, I'd say Saturn Bomberman is with frame skip on is playable now. It's not so jittery. As you can see, kind of almost, you got sort of like a 50, almost 50 frames now for Soul Edge. This is, remember, this is one of the hardest PlayStation games to run well, because it's very system heavy. But definitely, Med Defend will be one of those ones where it could be a potential option. If they could optimize the hardware version of the thing and it actually works like it's supposed to. Could easily see it. Because this is in software. But I, I think there's an improvement. With the overclock. I tried to do something like absurd, like 2100 instead of 2000. I didn't do anything, it just crashed, kept resetting. Uh, Overvolt any higher than 6 seems to cause it to have issues as well, resetting in it. So Overvolt 6 is probably your best bet, 2000 is your best bet for CPU. Overclocking the GPU is not particularly all that helpful, so I wouldn't bother with that. Just leave it 500. Let's switch the game. Let's try Rival Schools again. Raybell School. Clean. So mine's don't forget mine's actively called as well. So So far so good, but it's in game that matters. I'm just literally testing it right now. I'll pick an outdoor as my wife this time. But so you're always my wife. She in game. Die right then. Way, look at that. That's not bad, is it? That overclock. Not perfect, but I mean, you could probably play like the PAL version of some games in Med Defend now, couldn't you? In theory. Doesn't work with Sand though. Sand just goes at 60 even if you said use a PAL. One. Maybe it's just how the emulator's code is. I don't know. The answer, you know. That is an improvement, isn't it? I think so. It's a mirror match. Oh, 
I forgot I wasn't the one on the left then. Die. Die. Take that. Take that. Got him. Yeah! I win! <laughs> So yeah, this is the options I have for it, just to double check again. I'm not sure there's anything that I can do to increase the speed on this one. No, pretty much as is. Take or leave it. But let's do another, let's close it, stop, close content, because you can wig out if you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Beetle PSX, but Beetle PSX is basically uh, Medlefen. It comes up as Medlefen down there, you see. I'm trying to let me worked. So, that's a PAL game, you see. So, I reckon, I reckon you could play. Because this is. These are US ones. I reckon you could play PAL ones. Or Medlefen. Potentially. So, but these obviously, these are some of the tricky ones. I picked the harder ones. <clears throat> like, I could imagine Tekken 3 would also be sort of around the same sort of 50 odd frames. Obviously, the other one that we tested before, the other PlayStation emulator, is a lot less accurate. So, it's a lot quicker. <clears throat> this one's really accurate. Which means it's brilliant. I mean, you can play Umjam and Ami with proper rhythm. We'll try. We'll try Van Ark again. Maybe we'll try some N64 as well. Let's do that. I want to get in game. Well, this is the only thing I don't like about Van Ark. I should really make a safe state. I should have done. I was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to try this out and then I was going to put a video up quickly. I mean, for low intensity stuff, it's that extra 200. It's really, uh, really adding to it. Extra 200 megs or megahertz. This is painfully slow trying to do this. Slow loading gate. Want to get in game to the actual game part. I hate tank controls. Am I close enough to the same room? I would have thought. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I'll skip past it. Oh, sweet. That's almost the hour goes up again. Because this one's not quite as intensive as the other two. So you might get 460. Oh man, that's sweet. Because we had a bit of slowdown last time, so you see how that overclock's really helping with that? I mean, it's not quite. It's better than it was before. Notably better. We are getting closer to cool and accurate. Let's try one of the ones I tried before on the list. What have we got? Mm. Which one was I just going to try out? Um, quickly, because I only got a couple minutes left before I run out of time. Rogue Squadron. I wanted to try Body Harvest. That was it. Rogue Content. Quickly! We're running out of time! I'm going to use Body Harvest because this is one of the toughest ones to run. 
I think it was only like 17 frames per second in game before. So I'm very curious to see how it goes. Oh wow, whole oh, one and a half frames. <laughs> Yeah. But the harvest is still slow as molasses. But I don't actually know how well that actually runs in the actual game itself, though. Ouch. I'm saying 11 now. I'll run him over. Run him over! He's got a shield. He's like, you can't run him over, he's got a shield. Ah, stop it. My ones are letting me kill you. But yeah, you get a general idea. This game is just really slow. And maybe we can try, because I saw on the list as well. we still got like 40 seconds left. Um, can't get Dreamcast working still. Probably just don't have the right core. Probably grab it from somewhere else. Someone's got the idea of how I'm going to get it. Where was your Body harvest. Tennis. I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? Ah! Well, is that to the end? But you get the idea. It would, it would probably run fine. It was running fine before. So yeah, the overclock does help a 